everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am super duper happy to take you on a journey of artful and delicious delicacies while i hold awesome conversations with my guests from different parts of the world and various walks of life and this episode i will be having different varieties of chicken a chicken I believe everybody knows chicken. Kukuruku. Kukuku. Some people call it a cooker, like where I come from, they call it a cooker. You know, chicken, fowl, or cooker. Some people call it fowl. Um, today I'm having a selection of different drumsticks, chicken wings, and all from Hugo Grill. Hugo Grill is a amazing grill in Abuja you can find them in Abuja they are available to travel for big and occasions and whatnot oh well enough of that let's eat I am not a very selfish person so like always I would always love to give you the first bite of this sumptuous drumstick so on this episode I'm really going to be selfish with myself because I love myself so much. I'm going to be alone since it's my first episode. I'm going to. I can't even comfort myself. I'm such a foodie. And when I eat good food, I can literally comfort myself. This chicken is so amazing. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> so on this episode, I'm just going to be letting you get to know me a little bit since my first episode. Um, I'm going to let you know the purpose why I want to do this show. And um, we'll also be dabbling into a very sensitive topic that it's um, wildly talked about now. It's been affecting everybody. There's nobody that has not been affected by this, whether it's been business-wise, losing loved ones, or just, you know, traumatizing. It's just traumatizing, which is the COVID-19. We will dabble into all of that. So don't go anywhere. Take another bite for my amazing jump stick. <laughs> hmm. On this episode, I will be extremely selfish with myself, okay? I'll be alone, but I'll be having an amazing discussion with my crew members behind the set. So, let's go. Hi, Tonto. Hi. Why grub and rub? Okay. Why grub and rub? Grub. Eh, rub. Robbing mine, so it's basically come and even me and rob mine. Now, robbing mine means just probably just you know talking about stuff. I'm gonna try this one, another one. I tried the dumpster before, it was really nice. So let me try this one. I'll sit there, okay? I'm gonna put in this deep. I forgot to mention we have rice. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, basically, it and just gist with me, you know? That's all. Love or rap. Are you a true foodie? Like <laughs> say? Yes, I am. I am a true foodie. Like, on, it's crazy how much I love food. The show. If you saw me on Instagram, you would probably know <laughs> the depth of how much I love food. It's super crazy. And not just food, I love good food. I love food to taste really good. And it's a plus for me when the food looks simply amazing. It's a big plus. Yes, so I can say 
I'm a foodie. And only a foodie will have a food show. <laughs> mm. How long have you wanted to do this? Grow up and rub has been a show that I've always wanted to do for the past two years. I've seen amazing videos online, different social media platforms. And basically it's just them eating and just having fun in front of the camera. And I thought about it. If I was going to do something like that, I needed to bring a lot of fun, not just fun, a lot of education and also help the culinary world because I'm not just going to be eating food, food, food. I'm going to be using this to show you where to get good food when you come into any part of the world because this show is not limited to Nigeria or Africa alone. It's international. We'll go around the world tasting good food and bringing it right to your doorstep. Yeah. So, as a Nigerian, people always say our food is too spicy. What do you say about spicy food? Well, I love spicy food. And yes, as Nigerians, we adore spicy food. And um, I think one of the reasons why we adore spicy food is because sometimes you just never feel extremely comfortable with environments where food is being cooked. And, Okay, for me, I can't, I can't really judge anyone, I can't really say for anybody. For me, when I left Port Harcourt, where I came from, over to where I started to make a name or a living for myself, the state where I started to make a living for myself, I couldn't eat your food because it was different. So the only way I could adapt was more pe the more pepper, the less I tasted the food. But I just grew to love pepper as, as a Nigerian, just equally, yeah. So... Mm. Can you tell us your full name? Like most people don't know this, but your full name. Okay. My name is King Tonto Charity Wig. <laughs> that Wigo. That Wigo choked me. <laughs> Wigo DK. And my thing is, all my names mean beautiful things. My name put together means love stands out holy and strong. Charity is love. Regal means something that stands out, like it's a spotlight. Holy is stone toe. And strong is decay. So, you know? So don't ask me where I get my personality from again. Don't you ever, ever, ever ask me that. <laughs> so let's talk about COVID 19. Yeah. Well, COVID-19. COVID-19 was some, it's a pandemic that has, that has come or that came when we least expected it. The world at large was not ready for it. Nobody, it's, it hit us like a hurricane. And um, it's, it's such a pitiful time in our life where, you know, we have to be indoors, our jobs have to suffer. Our children, our children, our children have to be pulled out of school. You know, it's more or less like stopping your whole life. That's what this pandemic did to us. It, it actually shuts the whole world down. As, aside the fact that it's killing us physically, it's also killing us mentally. It's also killing us socially. It's also killing us financially, business-wise. I for one, believe that after the end of pandemic, the world will go into a radical recession. And this is where I say every business right now should start getting ready for it. If you're a business person, an entrepreneur, and even if you don't have a business, it's time for you to start getting ready for it because, oh boy, oh boy, 2010, we thought we saw a recession. It's just coming to heat us hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. What are your plans for yourself during this COVID-19? 
I'm planning for myself and my family. It's to stay indoors. I know that on the fourth of um, the fourth, the fourth of next month, of this month, the government is trying to reopen the state or across the states for people to start legally coming out. But I think it's just for our best interest that we stay at home because COVID-19 is an airborne disease and it's no respecter of men. Everybody that I have heard of that have passed away from COVID-19 have actually been the rich folks dying. So it's not the, it's not the sickness for the, for the poor folks. It's not the one that say, oh, say this is the one that affects them. No, it affects everybody and it's no respect of man. So during this COVID-19 period, I have been adapting strict social distancing. Although I do have a foundation where I go out, but when I do go out, I never go back to my home. I try and camp in somewhere for at least two days so I can just wear off all of that dirty energy and also the, um, whatever it is, whatever bacteria that I've gotten in me, you know, just wear that before I get into my home. So priority is keeping myself and my family safe. And that's what your priority should be too. Not just running back to your business. The world will go back to its system again. But your life will never come back if you die. Simple. What are your thoughts about uh, teaching children about COVID-19? Honestly teaching children about COVID-19. I think, I think it's, it's actually really good to, to, make, your ch to make children actually aware of COVID-19 because they are the fastest people who I believe are the most vulnerable to or the most vulnerable to actually um oh oh my god oh my god it's okay it's okay it's part of it it's part of it it's part of it so um I believe that it's very good to sensitize the children because um we need to teach the children how to protect themselves. We're not always there with them. We're not there with them in school. We're not there with them in the playground. We're not there with them when we, they go to the children's section of church or the children's section of the marks. Whatever it is, we're not always there with them. We don't know the friends they're playing with. We don't know the kind of things they're going to be indulged in, putting their hands or having to touch one another. They do not understand social distancing. So for now, we have to create social distancing for them. Teach them that the reason why they are home it's because of you want to keep them safe. It's not easy for them to be at home like my son. My son, my son woke up and actually told me that I was boring. Like I told so I'm boring. So you see, it's it's just something that's also affecting our children. But sensitize, sensitize, no, is it sensitizing? Yes. Sensitizing the children and letting them know that this is real and it's, if it, it can, it can, they can be transferred to them and also building their immune system like i give my son vitamins a lot and immune system boosters and sometimes when i, when I run out of it in my home i make the local one and how i make the local one honey lemon and just a little bit of warm water and that's that's it that's it well i'd like to use this time to also thank the frontliners it's not it's not easy it's not easy. If I, for one, I, I might not be able to have to, be do, to do it, knowing the fact that I had to be separated from my family for over 20 something days or even a month. I think that they're brave. I think they're strong. I think they need a lot of support. I think they need us to appreciate them more. It's, um, it won't take just a day to appreciate all the frontliners, whether it be security personnel who has kept us safe. Whether it be security personnel that have kept us safe, or it be the nurses, the healthcare workers, the doctors who are actually out there risking their lives, even the cleaners, the road, the road cleaners and the hospital cleaners, everywhere, the janitors, they have been amazing. Thank you so much. It's no, I mean, it's what you what you have done for us. It's larger than life. It's life itself. Thank you very much for for doing this for us and we will stay at home because you're staying out there to save us. Why is chicken one of your favorite things to eat? Why is chicken one of my favorite things to eat? 
Um, I love chicken because it's healthy and you can actually ch cook chicken in various forms. You can grill it, you can boil it, um, you can mix in different sauce and different, you know, just play with it. But um, you can also fry it, but if you are looking to stay healthy or for healthy living or to just lose some weight without grill, do not fry your chicken or you cook it. Yeah, that's why I love chicken. That is so easy. <laughs> hmm. plot how you see here on the right and every other thing was made by Hugo Grills. They are Abuja based. Like I told you, they are available to travel all around the world for their services. Feel free to call them at the end of the show. Their number will be down below. As you subscribe, please call them. Mm. 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 What do we expect to see with Grub and Rub? With Grub and Rub, I'm expecting to see so many exciting things. I've been having different exciting guests, from politicians to entertainers, to clergymen, just coming here and sharing the thoughts of life, educating us about different areas of life, different topics, gossip, Sports, religion, all, 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 all. Oh. Hmm? Okay. And extremely good food. for you guys <laughs> please yeah the you know what I know them everybody's all mad with COVID-19 you know oh my god no I'm not gonna let that happen everybody's all devastated with COVID-19 and um, we want things to go back to normal but the truth is in as much as COVID-19 has come and has taken it's also given. It's also given. For the first time, the whole world has come together in unity to fight a common enemy. For the first time, for the first time, there's a lot of things happening in families. It's, it's brought a lot of unity. It's brought a lot of understanding. It's brought a lot of, I want to get to know you better. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. It's, as long as it's was family time, family time is something that you can never, you can never get. I, I know someone who goes out in the morning, comes up in the night. His wife is also um, a busy person. They don't get time to spend with their, their children. They don't get time to sit down with your children. And a few days ago, he called and said, my, my daughter said this to me. I'm like, we've never had that kind of discussion we had before. I'm like, no, where's the time? But the lockdown has been, has been able to give families opportunity to have healthy conversations, to get to know each other. The other day on social media, I saw this elderly man. He was super sweet. And his son was calling his, the mother to come to the kitchen. And the man had made like a platter of fruits for the wife. And the wife acknowledged that it has never ever happened before. So yeah, even as, even as much as COVID-19 has come to devastate us, that really came with a good peck too. If you let it happen to you though, if you don't run away from it, if you if you get into the isolation thing, you can actually make something good out of it. I mean, watch good shows like Grab and Rub with King Tonto. So. <laughs> look, at, look, I'm here today eating and you're watching. You can do a lot online. You really can. Everybody's doing live videos. You can also do your own live videos. Stay busy. Hmm? Ah. <sighs> <sighs>
I am full. And this is what good chicken from Hugo's Grill can do to you. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned. Every Thursday, we'll be bringing you a new episode. I love you guys. Thank you for watching Grub and Rob with King Tonto. I am super excited for what the future holds. And I know that you are too. I can't wait to have you sitting right beside me and having a wholesome conversation and having beautiful meals. I love you. Thank you. Mwah.